Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. Now some of you may notice that it's been uh, quite a few months and uh, well a couple of seasons since uh, since the last episode. So yeah, I've done a little bit of off-camera work and we'll start the episode by going through those updates. Alright, let me just bring all that uh, up here. Now we have moved the storage up above uh, in our initial starting buildings and construction here. Now the in the last episode we finished building the kitchen and also well those rooms are already done but I have put in a couple of extra ones because we do have two more settlers that have joined the joined the colony here. And we also have Sanchez. So Sanchez, I really hope I pronounce your name correctly. Uh, he has joined the colony now too. And then when we go a little bit lower, let's have a quick look over here. So this is our new cellar or our food storage area. And this is going to hold all the raw food. And the way I've designed it or uh, why we've done this this way is uh, we've got the doors matching up over here so they can run uh, straight from the kitchen area to our cellar here. And uh, essentially what we have is two rows of the same resource. So if I open one of those uh, shelves and go into the root, uh, raw section, we can see this one's uh, red currants only. Let's go lower a little bit. Same with uh, this shelf. So we've got two rows of the same resource. Uh, so that way it's just a little bit easier for me to get a visual as well. Okay, how much food have we saved for the for the winter? And then at the front here, um, we also do need a li little bit of herbs. And that is for the for the Lamish meals. So they take one herb per, uh, per meal. And um, yeah, we, we're going to have to store it in there in a nice cool area as well. Let me just speed up the time tiny bit and you can also notice we've got a couple of tables here with some uh, wooden chairs and that is more like a temporary area until we get a proper uh, great hall or dining area and the same uh, just behind shelves for ready-made meals right and um, yeah it just takes a uh, quite a long time to mine everything out get the wooden beams in place the support so uh, all the ceiling isn't gonna collapse on us. So yeah, that's the reason why I had to do some off-camera work and um, I think in here everything should be the same. Oh yeah, we've, we've got a, one of those uh, um, tables here or workshop areas where we can make some short bows but hopefully once we unlock more research as well we can make some long bows and eventually crossbows as well. That would be awesome to have. Right, uh, right now, how many settlers do we have? We've got six, nine, and uh, we've got nine, almost nine bedrooms. So just uh, need to complete the final one uh, in that location there as well. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? Uh, I think we do want to move some of the farming areas a little bit closer to the entrance there, because I've noticed it takes a lot of time uh, running back and forth for all our all our people here so I've started putting on a couple of uh, farming areas in, in here as well just to help us out a little bit uh, what I noticed in summer is that those resources get left out for quite some time and then they just rot then we look at the jobs over here most people have hauling as um, priority number one but the priority system works just like in RimWorld where uh, if there are well, let's try this again. Priority 1 is the highest, 5 is the lowest. Now, when the... And, uh, and how it works is it takes... Um, let's see, we've got good-looking gamer here. The game looks at... Uh, Alright, where do we have number 1s? We've got number 1s in tending, um, healing, uh, where else do we have cooking, and research. So it's going to go from left to right. Is there anyone to... Do we need to heal anyone? Uh, no, then go to the next one. Are you uh, sick and do you need to rest in the bed? If no, go to the next one and the next one will be cooking. Do we have any meals to cook? If yes, then he's going to start cooking and so on. Once the number one is done, it's going to go into number two. So growing will be there. Will be the next one out of all those number twos uh, that we have there. All right, fantastic. We still got a um, few weapons and things in here. It seems they... Yeah. 
they're a little lazy when it comes to holding certain things. For some reason, they, um, yeah, have left a whole bunch of those uh, weapons and armory out here. But, uh, oh well. Uh, that is, that is okay. Now with the two settlers, if we have a quick look at them as well. Uh, Acton over here, he's gonna be our, let's see, carpenter. And he will be building quite a few bows, hopefully, for us as well. And then after that, since he has a passion in constructing and cooking as well, so these are the next two that he'll he'll go for. Tameta, um, he's a tailor. We got two stars in tailoring, so I've, I've changed it up, so he should be our primary tailor. After that, uh, same, just helping with some food and uh, mining and constructing as well. Uh, okay, so I believe in the previous episode what we said is, now that we have the kitchen relatively complete, I'd say, we just want to put some decorations in here, maybe put some fuel and things like that. But um, now that we also have the cellar complete, oh, I just noticed there is one bit, bit of flooring missing there. Right, uh, now that this uh, storage area is pretty much complete as well, we can always just, it's quite modular. Where if any of the resource, we have too much of it and there isn't enough space, we can just keep going down the line there. And uh, the next thing for us to really do is, I think we have to start with making a couple of bedrooms first. And then I'd like to make a great hall on uh, on this side with uh, some storage for food as well. I have given them a couple of digging commands. And actually we probably need uh Let's do it over here since there is a bit of access. Alright, what is everyone up, with the, uh, up to there? It's just drinking, sleeping. Oh yeah, that is the time of the day now. Alright, so working with this. Actually, I think with the supports it might be easier... To do it top down. Or is it rooms? Mm. Yeah, it's the same actually with the rooms as well. It would be better if we start from top. But let's see if we can take it step by step by step. So in uh, yeah, we already have this mined out. So that's perfect. We can already put some support beams in place as well. And we'll do the same on the other side. Now I like how it's multi-level, uh, uh, how it works in this game, constructing, but when you are on a higher level and trying to see where should we dig all these bottom ones, oh, it's a little bit annoying. And slightly, slightly more difficult to see and make sure that we are putting those commands on the on the right level, but uh, it's okay, we'll, uh, we'll make do and, and yeah, so I, I think on this level, on the bedroom level, we're not gonna go any more further this way, but we are gonna go most likely in the in the opposite direction. And let's see, we've got Kutlav already mining away. What is everyone else doing? We should have a few more miners. A uh, good-looking gamer is most likely. What might you be doing? Cooking. Okay. And is anyone? Okay, we are bringing those resources in, so that is great. Uh, since we do have a cabbage field over there, I know I'm getting a little bit distracted, I apologize. But I also have to keep an eye on these fields over here. That was beets, wasn't it? Okay, so beets. Uh, oh, merchant caravan. Oh, maybe we can sell something. We did have a massive cutting command here as well, where we took down this whole forest. Uh, because it seems we're going through wood pretty, um, pretty quickly. Nope. Uh, right, beets. Uh, next one. Beets are gonna go, I think, about here should be fine. Uh, Flaxfield, probably bring you closer as well. Now that I think about it. Uh, where is Flax? It's here. So, I suppose something like this should be, should be enough for us. Might not even need that much, actually. Yeah, let's uh, shrink it down just a little bit. Yeah, that should be better. Okay, uh, going down a level, and while well, you look at that, mining is complete. Let's make sure that we to put in those um, support beams right away. And one, two, three, I think this is where the support beam goes. And we'll do the same all the way through. 
Now, since we do want to have access there. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can. Oh, that's a little dark. Right, that should be good. Do we have... Oh, this level doesn't have any support beams in place yet. I am <laughs> generally quite worried about having everything collapse on us. So we're going to go nice and slow. Part of me also regrets uh, doing a cave base because it just takes so much longer than building on the, on the ground. But I do feel overall it's going to be much better if we if we keep going this way. Okay, so these are mined now. Can we take these supports out and then redo the wooden bit? Let's uh, see, maybe we put another support somewhere in the middle here, just in case. And then since this is going to be the wall, let's have a look. Can we go something like this? Yeah, that should be uh, that should be doable. Oh, and while well, you look at that, we've got a whole bunch of bows here, a few flimsies, a uh, couple of sturdy ones as well. So that is good. What's your? Let's see, carpentry level is already eleven. Okay, so once he hits about fifteen, I believe, roughly, we might get some uh, good short bows as well. Uh, where's the merchant? Are you guys leaving already? No, they still come in here. Okay, good. Um, good looking gamer. I'm sorry, I know you're hungry and you're about to enjoy your meal, but... Since you've got the highest speech craft... I think, yeah, the newer guys have a slightly lower one. Right, so what can we... What can we sell? We've got sturdy uh, summer coats. But, well, we're going into winter. So we can sell all the summer clothes. Uh, flimsies, we don't want them, so we can sell them. I think some of them also come from the one of the previous raids that we had. Alright, uh, let's sell... Good, sturdy. And can we buy anything off them? Is there anything we really want to have? Mechanical components would be nice, but they don't have any. And everything else we can just make ourselves. Um, herbs, linen, yeah, we got just so many. Actually, we might uh, sell quite a bit of linen cloth as well. But otherwise, it's just going to go to waste. And they are a bit overweight now. So what we'll do is we'll take all the alcohol. Uh, can we buy uh, maybe some lavish meals as well? Oh, they're still overweight. Wow, okay. Um, you know what? Okay, we'll take... Uh, couple of these off too. Yeah, that should do. Perfect. And we got six uh, points uh, in the relationship with them as well. So, all is good. Right, let's have a quick look at the progress of, of all this mining here. We got one, two, and almost the third one in place as well. The doors will be... I think they should be oriented this way. And now we can finish constructing just the corner bits there as well. Let's try and get a better angle. Uh, can't really tell. Okay, that's all right. And one more section there. Okay, so top level here. I'm thinking workshops and maybe a library. I was initially thinking library to build up here. Because uh, we are still going to build some stuff uh, over ground or on the ground. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to look like some sort of a pit here where people just appear and disappear from. Uh, we will have some guard towers and a bit of a castle, maybe a maybe a church up, uh, up on top. But with the library, because I don't want to lose any of those books, it's going to be a nightmare. So I think library should be... Should be the one that we build here. But you know what? Maybe... Maybe you can mine through this way as well. And we can put the support beams in now. Uh, perfect. And we'll redo. I think that one. Really hope it's not going to collapse. No, it did not. Fantastic. 
We'll put these in place and then we can start removing the rest of the ground. Okay, so what I'll do is... Um, let's see. I'm going to try and put in uh, some sort of uh, library in here. I think we'll use the... If we take this as a block, we'll probably have two blocks uh, wide or long. And then we can have all our research being done in done in here. Right, so I'll be back. I'll put a few commands in here. And as soon as uh, this is done and I've figured, figured it out, or if we get any events, then uh, we'll be back straight away. All right, and it seems we have finally got an event. Uh, Salvation, the river bandits. Appearing to range that first Gofrid was simply overcome with terror. All right, I'm pretty sure we're going to help him. Let's have a look. Um, ooh, mining 27, marksman 14. Not, not bad at all. Maybe a research person. Right, we'll definitely help him out. Oh, we don't have enough beds. Let's have a quick look. Uh, tending highest. The same with this one. And do you know what? I think that is okay. We'll put a one on research over there. And then mining number two. Everything else, I think we can take off cooking. You know, four is fine. And hunting four as well. The rest can be three. We are going to have to get him a bed. So, all right. Let's give you a quick little uh, update as well on our library over here. So, things are going pretty, uh, pretty well. We've got a small little room here with a few bookshelves and uh, a research table as well and also a light here to make sure that the researcher can see what they're what they are doing now with the new settler we do have a bit of a problem here with beds and where he is gonna sleep um <laughs> what can we do i guess the temporary solution is going to be to put a bed in uh, bed in here not ideal, but I think for the time being it, it should be fine. Polly, if you can please construct uh, that bed over there, that would be fantastic. And the good looking gamer is just finishing, uh, finishing mining off this area. Oh, that is very dark. Uh, right, so we did have a research table, or the basic one here. How about we relocate you? And that is the room where we want this to go. Right, a bit of flooring on both sides. This section here as well. Okay, good. So yeah, uh, nice little room here. I think we're going to have a few more um, a mixture of bookshelves and the wall bookshelves as well. So that should be that should be nice. Now the room is almost complete. We just have to queue up the uh, last floor there. Uh, Polly, weren't you? Oh, you're still building resources. Fine. That's okay. And while well, you look at that, that is the biggest bedroom we have in our in our cave so far. Uh, is there a missing link here? It does look like it, doesn't it? Yep, we'll fill those gap as, gaps as well. Let's take a quick look. So we are going to need some bedrooms. I think with the, the library over here, that's uh, already a room, isn't it? Yes, it does look like so. So it gives us a bit of production boost as well would also be good to maybe queue up a few books in here. Let's do 20 for starters. So the next important thing is, I know I did say in the previous episode and this one that um, the Great Hall will be our priority. But to be honest, right now, this can stay here. At least we have a room where they can sit and eat. Uh, what we need right now is actually another bedroom. So what we what we can do, let um, <laughs> I guess we can start by putting down some more floors, like so, and then the corner, and then the next thing we are gonna have to do is it would be nice to put bedrooms above the kitchen area so it's nice and warm. Yeah, I think we are. Oh, wrong button. Let's go this way. And this way. Do the same over there. We can... Mm, gonna have to move this table, aren't we? Yeah, let's... Um, 
Reload. Oh, that's going to block the doors. Well, uh, okay, we're going to leave those walls intact for the time being, at least. Now, when it comes to bedrooms, I think we'll go through there. Then in on both sides. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a bit of a mission. Is there anything directly underneath? Uh, just the corner of the kitchen there. Okay. So that should be interesting. I think these floors should be uh, fine. And then... Uh, it's all to our usual, really. Yeah. We're going to have a window there. And a door right next to it. Can't really tell. Yep, I think this is the right way. And, okay, so they've built that wall. That's good. They still have to mine this bit in here. And then we can put another... Oh, wait. Here. Yep. Perfect. And then we can just uh, carefully start putting those support beams in place as well. Yeah, just uh, if anyone wouldn't mind doing that bit in here, that will be very good. Uh, no, it seems like they're more interested in this area here. That's okay. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have to carefully carve out the rest of it as well. That's going to be a little bit trickier, but I think we should be fine. Same thing again, we'll let them sleep for a few hours. I'll try and get one of those rooms done so we can have our newest colonist sleeping in the in the cave as well. And um, oh, wait, we do. We, we had the separate uh, spare bed in there. So that's fine. We'll, we'll try and get one bedroom done here. And then we'll have a look at the, the great wall. I think we're at a good sort of point where we can start carving this out here as well. But okay, I'll be back uh, very shortly. Never mind, we are pretty much uh, back right away because the bandits were not happy that we were helping out uh, Gunfrey over there. And well, you look at that, this guy looks so much bigger than the rest. Sigmund over there, he's got a, some sort of like a... Oh yeah, that's definitely not going to be uh, good for any of our construction buildings. Do they have any archers or... Or crossbowmen? No, they don't. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. What's your marksman? Okay, maybe we shall. Let's see. Let's do ranged. Now, let's actually check if we... Had... Oh, that's why they're not picking up any... Any... <laughs> bows. Right, all hit gear... Armor is fine as well. Right, let's uh, let's do that. Can we get another range person? That would be actually. You know what, Acton? How about you be a range person as well? Now let's see. Where are you? You just dropped that weapon, didn't you? Yep. Uh, all right, here they come. Where are they? Now, which route are they going to take? So, they're going to go through there, up... Okay. Okay, so... Maybe we can have the archers... Do a bit of damage from the top. And we'll speed it up as well. Let's see how it how it's going to go. Well, at least he's a little bit slower. So, that's... Uh, that's good. Right, I think it's time to bring ev everyone in. Why are you guys so happy? To together we're strong. Oh, right, that's we... Because we didn't give up our newest uh, colonist. All of you run over there. The rest... Do we not have... Oh yeah, we are getting one more ranged uh, person. There we go. Acton, if you could please get into position as well, that would be good. And here they come. Who's gonna be the first one? Sinric. Archers, we are... Oh, it's so difficult to see in during winter. Right, you have... Oh, well, all of you have short bows, don't you? Good-looking gamer. If you could please actually go over there. Pixie, yep, you're gonna stay there. Where's Godfrey? You're here. Acton, you're here as well. 
Uh, okay, there's a couple more people joining the party. Get in, get in position, please. And that should be five archers. Yes, they are. Wonderful. If you could all fire that way, we'll injure a couple. Just to slow them down a little bit. And all of you. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yikes. Well. Doesn't look like these guys stand a chance here against us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, wrong button. Oh, no. Um... Please go back where you were before. And good looking gamer right there will be good. Someone is a little injured, but that's okay. And direct hits all across the board. Oof. That hurts. Victory. Okay. Well, that was probably the easiest raid we've had this whole game. Sigmund. Yeah. Do you know what? don't think we care too much about you. And Redmond's gonna be down very shortly as well. I think we can send you all on your way now. Uh, we are gonna have to get rid of those bodies ASAP as well. Don't wanna have all of you get negative debuffs. And you're done as well. Perfect. Nice. That was actually very good. Alright. Same thing. Please carry this body away. You take that one. Polly, please grab him. Uh, someone's already bringing him and him. Okay, I think that might be all of them. Perfect. And hopefully we get some nicer... No, they're all sturdy and flimsy. I was hoping to get some nicer clothing and maybe weapons as well. Oh, that one's good. Okay. That's a start. Uh, but the rest... Mm, not too promising. Uh, well, that was good. I was a little worried for a, for a second, but it seems everything worked out. Now, this year, bit of a mess. Not gonna lie. Oh, we have... Definitely broken a few things, but that's okay. It was to be expected. And we'll just have to go slowly through these bits as well. Okay, there we go. That should... Uh, that should take us there slowly. Slowly but surely. Okay, we dug out that section. We have... So we can put in the support beam. Oh. Did it go? Yep, I think it's in place. Good. Yep, very tricky here. But, uh, okay, so that's, uh, that's good. We'll, we'll try and get this built and then, uh, we'll keep on, keep on going. Alright, and the bedroom is now, now complete. Just a few resources to, uh, to tidy it up a little bit, but, uh, we do have a extra bedroom and we'll... Probably what I'll do is I'll build the these ones off camera and maybe a couple more in here because it just takes a bit of micro to put um, uh, the floors down one by one so they can walk on them and, and continue construction uh, constructing things. And um, so yeah, they're a little bit annoying to build, but uh, but I'll do it off camera if we need some more. Now a couple more things before we go. I like to, as mentioned before, I like to start carving out this area here, but this. Um, the table is in the way, so I'm thinking, as a temporary solution, we'll place it there, and since it's building uh, bows for us, what I'll do is we'll clear all, very high priority, and we are gonna have, let's see, wood uh, stored in this section here. And then on the opposite side, what we shall do, uh, let's create a warfare, warfare stockpile, we'll take everything out, uh, let's put a very high uh, weapons ranged. I think all the ranged wep weapons actually. And we want uh, sturdy, uh, flimsy and sturdy here. 
because these are the ones we're gonna dismantle at this station. Okay, and then we used to have uh, like a games room in here. So what would happen is they would run all the way here, play some games, go and pray, then run back to eat or in a different different order. So what I'd like to do is use this space here. It seems like a perfect spot to put a few game stables. Uh, let's do maybe like so. Yep, that should be good. So that way now, once they wake up, well, the ones that do want to play straight away, they can just use these tables right in front of them. Less time uh, running around looking for things. And once they're done with this as well, they can just go downstairs, have a lovely meal, and then go and pray. In the long run, these um, the church is going to be right behind us, or above us, should I say. But for the time being, it's okay if uh, just this uh, uh, shrine or well, two of them stay stay over there. But other than that, it looks like a pretty pretty decent progress. And uh, in the next episode, we'll... Well, I do want to say that we'll start carving this out, but if something else pops up, then we, we might just change our priorities. Other than that, thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one.